Yeah, we're ready. Yo, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Thomas B back again with another episode about the business. Yo, it's your boy once again back with another episode about the business. Got my boy DeMarco Mosley here with me. What's up out there, world? Man, and today we just gonna, you know, chat about what's going on in the world today and um, of course business and how it's affecting business, how it's affecting our businesses and how it's affecting our city, our community, the places that we stay at, uh, the places where we live. Um, so today I was watching a video because I watch a lot of YouTube and uh, I just listened to a lot of stuff about what's going on in the world today and I came across a video because they put recommended videos on uh, your YouTube channel and it was talking about in Chicago how uh, Macy's was taught was uh, you know, I guess his word saying that Macy's gonna move all their stores out of Chicago and I started thinking about that because the reason they doing it is because of uh, the people that so called it self protesting, but they out there looting, burning down buildings, and, and just destroying their own city. Now, of course, I don't agree with that, and I don't agree with anybody that thinks that's okay, that that's the way that we're gonna, I guess, make a statement, because I don't think that that does anything. But I started to think about, because I know. East St. Louis used to be a really good place to stay at, to stay in. Uh, back in the day, uh, it was fortune, had a lot of factories, a lot of buildings, a lot of houses. Of course, we had the, the big race riot. Um, and whether it was on the, the black people or the white people side, uh, whenever you riot in, whenever you looting or destroying buildings, destroying homes, destroying whatever, whatever side is on, uh, black people doing or white people doing it, it's not good. It's not good for our cities. It's not good for our environments. It's, that's not a good thing that we need to teach our children. Because I see a lot of videos, a lot of pictures that I guess people think that they're doing a good thing by having their six-year-old or ten-year-old out there and all that riots and all that uh, protesting uh, that turns into riots and looting. So I just don't think that is a good thing. I don't think that all this looting is a good thing. I think that it needs to stop because one of the main things especially communities that's uh, like Chicago and East St. Louis, it need businesses to flourish. Like, people don't understand that businesses like Macy's and, and uh, malls and all that, that bring money to the city. And the, the money that, that is brought into the city, uh, businesses pay taxes with it, uh, and that brings money to help build back up the city. Now, that's gonna be a really, really bad thing if Macy's leaves Chicago. Um, and it, it's really gonna mess Chicago up because they're gonna lose a lot of money. And they need money right now to take care of the stuff that uh, they need to take care of. So Marco, what's your thoughts on all that? I think it's a big detachment right now, to be honest with you. It's a huge detachment. Because let's think about it. Sitting back when you hear just how people claim their political identity. When you hear people that mostly identify as a Democrat, they talk about the stuff that people will or will not give them. When you hear identify as Republican, they talk about rights that's being taken away and things that's being pushed upon them. So now I start off with that to say this. You remind me of when I did my studies of the riots of starting from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Selma to 
uh, East St. Louis even in 1917 because there been two major ones. And then living here and standing outside waiting to come up here because, you know, the, the people may not know we broadcast from this beautiful downtown East St. Louis. Downtown East St. Louis. Because I don't see what it is. I see what it could be or what it should be. Yeah. So we're saying that. I used to be mad at Dick Gregory and uh, Red Brown. Mm -hmm. Why was I mad at Dick Gregory and Red Brown? Doing my research, coming out of the 1917 riots, going to the 1960 riots, right there, Martin Luther King assassination. Mm -hmm. uh, I discovered that's when East St. Louis, as we see now, burned down. So we walk out this building, there'll be a lot of buildings out there that's abandoned and everything. Because right. it burned down. Because they came up with a plan in the 60s that they called Burn Whitey Out. And I was mad at Dick Gregory for a long time because I knew he took part in that. So, burn Whitey out. And then I had a chance to see Dick Gregory speak before he died. And he actually brought up that situation about the riots. And he brought it specifically East St. Louis. And he said he was down in Red Brown. And they was like, because uh, you know he was a young comedian at that time, an entertainer, kind of crossing over being an activist. Mm -hmm. So he said, Red Brown had all the answers. We mad at him. Get these white folks out of here. We can keep our own money. Do this, do that. He said, so they came up with that burn Whitey out. And he said, I was down with that. But he said, after we did it, I didn't realize he had no plan on what to do after the fact. So what we did was, by burning them out, we ran our people still right there by them. Right. So it really defeated the purpose, and we destroyed our community at that time. Which, now fast forward to now, I mean, you can walk outside to East St. Louis. It's a byproduct of history. A 1960 riot, when they burned the white folks out that's now in Fairview Heights and O'Fallon and in all these other surrounding areas. So now... When we say about the Chicago thing, it's funny you mention that because I've been busy all day. Been on, well, I hate to say busy, but I've been doing a lot of things all day, and the rumor is actually true. Chicago Tribune, because like I teach about, because anytime somebody give me information, I usually go along a, a, a couple of patterns of procedures mm -hmm. to kind of research.